Hey little readers, today we're going to read 10 Flying Brooms. It's written by Elanet Oliver and illustrated by Kyle Poling. Ten flying brooms zoomed swiftly through the night. Their witches were gone. They were nowhere in sight. The brooms began their hunt at the spooky old house. I heard a witch's cackle, squeaked a tiny timid mouse. Then down below they saw a glow coming from under the porch. Cried witchy woo, broom one, you hoo, waving her hand like a torch. Broom one and witchy woo made a pair. Nine brooms flew alone through the air. Is that storm there? Witchy woo cried from below. I think that's her red hat on that big giant crow. Up in the sky, the crow did fly with storm riding on top. Broom two flew high, poked crow, oh my. And storm fell down, kerplop. Broom two and storm made a pair. Eight brooms flew alone through the air. Bree was in a rush, Storm said. She was running up the stairs, chasing something fast and small with lots of yellow hairs. Broom three went up and spied a pup that Bree was snuggling tightly. Can he come too? asked Bree to Woo. Of course, Woo said politely. Broom three and Bree made a pair. Seven brooms flew alone through the air. Bree told the brooms she saw Batty Sue heading for the shed. She was looking for her bat who needed to be fed. Inside the shed upon her head was a bat. Oh me, oh my. Broom four, hello, time to go. And they flew off into the sky. Broom four and Batty Sue made a pair. Six brooms flew alone through the air. But where's Broom Hilda? Batty Sue asked, weaving with her spiders. Let's look for her out back, but beware, these spiders are great hiders. Broom five, I'm here, Broom Hilda cheered from deep inside the forest. Zip and zoom went her broom, followed by the witchy chorus. Broom five and Broom Hilda made a pair. Five brooms flew alone through the air. Time was running out when they flew over a lake where Miss Trix was swimming. There was no mistake. I'm here, Broom Six, cried wet Miss Trix, and they flew to the water. We can't be late. We need Miss Tate. And Tabby, can you spot her? Broom Six and Miss Trix made a pair. Four brooms flew alone through the air. A hooting sound came from above. It was Tabby's owl. Tabby was scared, the owl said. She heard a noisy growl. Broom seven, look, the branches shook. They all flew over to see Tabby stood wearing her hood. Thank goodness you're here for me. Broom seven and Tabby made a pair. Three brooms flew alone through the air. The moon was high in the sky, so the brooms flew back to the gate. I hear a wolf howling, Tabby shivered, and also a wild Miss Tate. As eight swooped in, Miss Tate gave a grin and brushed the dirt off of her knees. Broom eight, said Miss Tate, we mustn't wait. To the fire there, if you please. Broom eight and Miss Tate made a pair. Two brooms flew alone through the air. Eve's over by the fire, Tate told the crew with a grunt. She's been up to something while the brooms were on, the, on their hunt. Tate led them to the smell of stew, which Eve was standing over. You're right on time. It's time to dine, said Eve. Broom nine, come closer. Broom nine and Eve made a pair. One broom flew alone through the air. Suddenly, they spied Witch Gwen stuck up in the great clock tower. The clock struck twelve and all called out, Hurrah, it's witching hour. Come get me ten, squawked Giddy Gwen. And don't forget these kitties. The time is here to spook, my dear. Let's fly away, my biddies. 
all ten brooms had found their pairs. Now all flew swiftly through the air. Together just in time. Witches in their brooms. For a flying Halloween show underneath the moon. Thank you all little readers. I hope you enjoyed this fun Halloween book. And if you did, like and subscribe for more readings like this. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful day.